That one makes it. Do I read too fast? This was cool though. Lots to go What is up guys, Small Town Retro Gamer here, coming at you with a pickup slash live game hunting video. It's been like two months, um, just after winter break and everything. Really hard to go back out there as a teacher and go uh, game hunting as often as I'd like. I'm also expecting a child, so doing a lot of stuff to get ready for that. So this is all stuff over the last two months. A lot of it's from the auction house, but some of it was picked up live, uh, so kind of a combination of the two. So first things first, we'll go with the stuff that we did pick up from the auction house. Um, we'll save that one for last because that's probably the best one. This was the cheapest lot. Let's see, it was $28 for 12 Xbox 360 games and some PS2, PS3 games. Nothing crazy. Assassin's Creed, Brotherhood. Um, case is really jacked up. But most of these discs look like they were in good to fair shape. So I'll go through them a little bit quicker. Um, some of these didn't have, some of them I did. Uh, Metro. 2033. Not sure if I have this one. Burnout Revenge. Burnout series is always fun. One of Metal Jesus' favorites. Um, Arcade Live Unplugged. And most of these are in fairly good shape. You can see some wear and tear on some of the covers and things. This one I used to love. Uh, I think it was Geo Blast on one of them. That one you can tell. Just a little bit messed up. Gears of War 2, the case is all messed up. Alpha Protocol, underrated game, kind of janky but good. Um, LA Noir, Masters Historic Edition, worth a little bit more. I believe this one had Call of Duty World of War at it, but it's supposed to be Call of Duty Ghosts. And the PS2 games, World Championship Poker, Trans World Serve. So, not anything crazy in that lot, but for 28 bucks. Figured why not? Not missing all. There's in the other stack of six. This stack of six is a little bit better, except for one. Um, Dead Island, not worth anything. Two, three dollar game. Here's where we get some of the better titles: The Walking Dead Telltale game series. Game I don't see very often: World of Tanks, Xbox 360 edition. Don't know if that one came with a manual. Um, Hitman, Absolute Absolution. Probably the two best, or the best one value-wise. Tomb Raider Anniversary. Complete. And the Tomb Raider Remake. It's $28 for all those. Not a bad little deal. Um, from Savers. I don't know if it still has the price tag on it. Uh, this thing is not new new, but for $4.49. Uh, share from Nottingham. Looked like every piece was in there, so I took a chance on that. Um, from a pawn shop. Five, they just called them Xbox 360 games. One of them is an Xbox game. Um, $13.86, so less than $3 a game. Need for, pre, need for Speed Pro Street. Couldn't remember if that one's the one that has value or something else. I always think Cameo has value. It does not. 
I always think it does. And of course, those two are disc only. Ace Combat 6. Complete. Um, surfs up. And surprisingly, like, some of these, like, later Disney games, tie-in games, have, you know, not a lot of value, but like 10 to 15 bucks. And a game I thought would have more value, uh, MLB Slugfest 2006. I don't know if I ever played this one. I played some of the Slugfest growing up, but I don't know if I ever played 2006. Like I said, everything so far in will play to good condition um let's go with another pawn shop find this ended up being like seven dollars and change tiger woods 13 disc only nino kui wrath of the white witch and a sealed copy of kingdom hearts 2.5 remix and you can it's jiggling around in there so that's great um I'm going to save that one for last. Uh, from a game store in California, we went to visit the in-laws. Um, picked up two games I did not have. Mario was missing uh, for 15 bucks, about what it goes for. Really nice shape. And one I've never seen uh, paid up for this. I got them down like to 110 I think, because eBay sold listings. They work with you at this place. Uh, Juggernaut. And the sold listings are anywhere from like 90 to 120 130 This one's complete in pretty nice shape. So figured I'd pay that. Then moving on, I believe that's all that stuff. A um, couple more live finds um, from a local, they have the like local GameStop or the local game store sticker on them, but this was actually from a thrift store. I believe they were $4 a piece because they were doing like 20% off or something. They're usually five. Got Jack and Daxter collection. A little bit of change. Oh, there it is right there. See, so paid $8 for both of these. Jack and Daxter collection complete. And not sure why I picked this one up. Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Also complete. That's about what it's worth. From another one of those same thrift stores. Don't know. I just I think this day was just one. I'm like I need to pick up something. NASCAR 2011, the game complete. <laughs> and the goat game, uh, Solitaire and Majan. And again, same day they're doing the same deal. So these were four dollars a piece. But this one looks like it's never been played, which I don't doubt that. Uh, local game store. Uh, so this local game store, generally I pick up stuff that I don't have that's relatively cheap or something like that. They were doing a sale. It was like their something anniversary. So like PS1 games were like 15% off. Xbox 360 games were like 10 to 15% off. It was something like that. Everything here was 10 to 20%. They usually are right on about price charting. So got these for a little bit less. Game I always see, never pick up. Heard it's horrible. Rascal. In case there's a sticker still on the outside, but there it is. Um, ODT, Escape or Die Tron. Looked interesting. I always see this one too. Never picked it up. Lego Soccer Mania. Again, like right on price charge, about eight bucks. One Piece Pirates Carnival. Little mini game collection. Not a big One Piece fan. Watched an episode or two. Um, a couple games I just don't see ever. Not like rare, not expensive. The first Templar looks interesting. I'm sure it's not very good. It's made by Calypso. It's um, it like nine bucks. It's complete. And then one of the games at the end of the Clash of the Titans, end of the uh, where they're making games for like every movie that came out. Complete. And that one again. Marked at nine bucks. Again, a little bit cheaper. Um, and then this lot had to pay up for. So you can see there, 63 bucks for three games. And there's a reason for that. So we'll start with the game that's not worth as much. Ring Rage. This was like a 10-ish 10, 10 dollar game. Um, a game I already have, and this label's a little bit peeled on the top. Zelda the legend of zelda link's awakening 
really good game. I always have to check the batteries on those. And the reason we were able, or the reason I was willing uh, to pay that, Gargoyle's Quest, um, you can see Marker, Dugan, whatever, will take that off. Um, $40 to $50 game. So figured fairly good deal for all three of them. Um, planning to keep these two at least and then maybe trade or sell this one off. We'll see. But not a bad deal for what I got here. Um, and that is everything, guys. Um, like I said, going to keep posting content as I can. Baby on the way. Uh, school year wrapping up, all that stuff. So kind of busy. But thank you guys for watching. Peace.